Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So today we're here on Medved Taiga to look at all the different species on the map and how to drop them in their tracks using the ethical weapon for them. So when you get the opportunity to maybe take a diamond animal, you'll be able to do so. So it's important to be able to get 100% quick kill bonus to get gold or diamond on the largest squaring animals, or maybe you could even need it for a mission, uh, or if you don't just want to have to track animals after every shot, uh, this is going to be important as to where you want to place your shots to get that 100% quick kill bonus and drop animals in their tracks. So we'll start with musk deer. Since they are the smallest, we're going to use the ethical weapons uh, for each animal in this video. So we're using the 223. And this is actually just showing something important. As you can see, not a drop shot. The musk deer actually runs off just a bit, uh, but then it does go down. So what I'm showing here is that you can actually get the 100% quick kill bonus on musk deer uh, without actually dropping them in their tracks. You can see we do have a vital hit. Uh, so we'll just take a look at the vitals on this musk deer, and we can see uh, that it is a left lung shot, and there's a 100% quick kill bonus. So... If you do want to drop them, we'll look at that next. So in order to drop musk deer, when they're facing me head on, I go for a neck shot. As you can see, I just stay basically level with the top of its back uh, and aim for the center of its neck. And the reason for that is if I'm too low, I'll likely catch a lung. Uh, and if I'm off to one side, I might just catch the spine. Uh, so that's the safest way uh, that I found to do it. And as you can see, we actually caught both the neck and the spine here. Uh, but that is why it dropped either one of those uh, neck or spine would have dropped it in its tracks. And we just happened to catch both. If you get a broadside shot, you can just go for the spine, which we'll do here. Uh, as you can see, I'm just staying high in the back, but not absolutely at the top of the back, just trying to stay an inch or so uh, below the top of the back to be sure that we catch the spine. And as you can see, the musk deer did, of course, drop in his tracks. And we'll take a look at the vitals once again so you can see uh, exactly where the spine is on the musk deer. And you can see 100% quick kill bonus once again. If you prefer on a quartering two shot, you can actually go for the heart. Uh, you just aim low and in between the two front legs. Uh, I don't tend to do it when they're head on, as I said, I go for the neck, uh, but when they're quartering two, you can't seem to get the penetration to hit both lungs, uh, so I go for heart in that situation, and we'll just take a look uh, at what we actually caught here on the vitals, and as you can see, it was heart as well as a lung, and we hit the uh, opposite leg bone as well, so there's a fair amount of penetration, but when I'm not shooting pretty much perfectly broadside on a musk deer, uh, I only seem to catch one lung. So moving on to Eurasian Lynx, the second biggest animal. Like Coyote, you can actually catch a double lung and not drop them. As you can see, the Lynx takes off, and it's not going to run far, just like the Musk Deer. Uh, it will go down. This specific one gives me 99% uh, quick kill bonus. Uh, so I would say, probably like the Musk Deer, you can get between 95 and 100% uh, with a lung shot. This, of course, is a double lung shot, uh, but once again, it doesn't drop it. So if you're trying to drop a Lynx, uh, double lung is not going to work. What I tend to go for instead is a spine shot, as we're doing here. Uh, just like the other animals, just stay a little below the top of the back. As you can see, the lynx drops in his tracks, uh, and we'll take a look at its vitals again, just so you can see that we did hit the spine. And we can see just by looking at it, we did, of course, catch the spine. Uh, and actually, the top of the lung as well, so that's important. If you stay towards the middle of the body, just on the front side, uh, and shoot high, you could actually catch a lung if you shoot below the spine. Uh, so that's a good thing to know. Uh, when you're trying to make a spine shot. So moving on to wild boar, where I prefer a spine or neck shot, you can see here, I stay pretty close to the head of the boar and stay, again, a bit below the top of the back, uh, going for a neck shot here. And as we can see by looking at the vitals, we did, in fact, catch the lower neck. And it's not a dangerous shot because if I'm a bit far back, uh, I actually catch the spine. The lower neck and the spine are pretty well lined up. Uh, so that's a pretty safe shot when they're broadside because you cannot uh, get double lung with the 270 to drop a wild boar. And although it looks like I'm going for brain here, I actually stayed above the brain and went for spine, and we can actually look at the vitals uh, and see that. As you can see, we did not catch the brain, we caught just skull and spine, and actually going for a brain shot is fairly safe, uh, as long as it is head on and it doesn't have its head turned, because uh, if you're too high, you're probably in the spine, and if you're too low, uh, you're likely in the vitals. So next is reindeer, where once again, I do prefer to go for neck and spine. Uh, the neck, when the animal is facing head on, as this one is. It's not perfectly head on, but as you can see, I just went for the center of the neck. I kind of stayed towards the base of the neck once again as well. Uh, and of course, the reindeer does drop in its tracks. We'll take a look at the vitals uh, to see that. You can see we did catch the neck bone here, and I tried to stay again towards the base of the neck. If it was a bit more head on, if somehow I missed the neck, I probably would have caught the spine. And for broadside shots, like I've said a couple of times now, just staying below the top of the back catching the spine and dropping the reindeer in his tracks. 
And as we can see by looking at the vitals, we did of course catch the spine, and that is why this guy dropped. So like a lot of the other animals, uh, just a simple spine or neck shot is pretty easy to make, and it's a guaranteed way to drop the animal in its tracks with the correct weapon. So brown bear might just be the most difficult animal to drop on the taiga. When they're facing me, I do go for a brain shot. As you can see here, I go for the center of the head in about an inch or so above the eyes, uh, and that's pretty much guaranteed to be a brain shot. It can be kind of risky if you go too high, uh, you likely are going to shoot over the brain and you're probably not going to catch the spine. Uh, you can see that it's a very low spine until you get to the back of the animal. Uh, by the time your bullet penetrates that far, you might not get uh, all the way to the spine, but that's my preferred way when the animal is facing me. But when the angle presents itself, I do tend to go for the spine. I feel it's a bit safer than going for the brain, so if it's possible, I do shoot for the spine. As you can see here, uh, just aiming in between the shoulder blades and actually pretty low. Uh, we'll look at the vitals to explain that. So as we can see by looking at the spine of the brown bear, it actually starts off pretty low until you get around the center of the back. So if you're shooting broadside, you do have to be sure that you're low enough uh, to actually catch the spine. But in this case, it was pretty much head on. Uh, we just had a better angle to catch the spine. So we aimed right in between the two shoulder blades and the 338 has got enough power that uh, even if it is hitting the lower part of the spine, as we did here, you get the penetration to do so. So we did look at moose on Leighton Lake, but I wanted to do it again here on the Taiga. So for the quartering two angle, I pretty much always go for a heart shot and there's a lump that comes out between the front legs uh, which is the heart and where I aim is just as the lump comes off the leg closest to me uh, if that's a quartering two angle that's guaranteed to be a heart shot as long as you're low enough uh, I don't aim too low though there is an area below the heart you can hit as well uh, I try to stay right in the center of that if not just a bit above that so the other option is to go for a spine or neck shot this is the pie board I took in the last call the wild video uh, but as you can see we aim once again uh, for the center of the body uh, because it is facing us uh, and just below the top of the back so we can catch the spine. In this case, we actually caught the neck, uh, but with the angle we had, if the neck was out of the way a bit more, we would have caught the spine as well. So as you can see here, we did of course catch the neck, but if the neck were not in the way, you can see the angle is lined up to actually catch the spine, but because of the amount of neck that the bullet had to travel through, there just wasn't enough penetration to reach the spine on that particular animal. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys are able to use it, uh, maybe to get that diamond animal or complete a mission, whatever you need it for. Hopefully uh, this video helped you out. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.